Hi everyone, beforehand when I said I did not know what the other three feet were with this new sewing machine, I have done some research and found out what they are. There is actually four. There's one that is a white foot and it's a different, it has, it's not completely, it's listed but it's saying it's a different foot. I'm going to pick them up each, each foot so you can see what, what each foot is foot is. Now the one I'm bringing over is the G foot. It's the over car, car casting foot. It's the G foot. That's the over car casting. I'll work out what the over car casting means with it. If someone's watching this video and they know what the over casting is, I think that's something to do with the seams on this. I They, they could help me out. The next foot is the monogramming foot. This is the one that I use for all the decorative, beautiful stitching. It's the end foot, the monogramming foot. It's a nice big foot. That's the monogramming foot. The next one is the blind stitch foot. Ah, and that's a unusual looking foot. Has this big piece of steel down the side, side of it here and goes over and into the back there that's the that's the blind blind, that's the blind, blind stitch foot doing the blind blind stitching now this is the other new foot what brother have added it in it's a foot to sew la leather with it's a non-stick foot and it's white uh, it's got no was it looks like there's an O on that, but yeah, uh, I've looked it up. It uh, says it's to sew la leather and that type of vi vi vinyl type of stuff. I don't think I would trust sewing la leather or vi vinyl in this in this machine. So I don't think this machine is made for that type of thing. But just so that I let you people know what this is. Now I want to show you the difference between the two sewing machines on the two sewing machines. Now what I'm going to do, this is my button foot. That's the button foot for both machines. With this machine, the, with, the, with the new machine, this one has drop down dogs in, in, in it. I'll lift up the, I'll turn on the other light and I'll lift up the main foot. Oh, go up. The two centre, actually I might drop it off so I can see it more easier. It drops down all this, all that there gets dropped down. There is a lever on the back behind it that drops it down. This is to sew on buttons. That's the button foot that we have to do this with. And here on the back, and that's the, the, the that's the that's the switch there that draw, drops it. I'll put this over. You can s s see them up. I push it. Oh. I push it down that way. That they, they are down. That's to sew the buttons on with and to do uh, other, other sewing where you need free, free flow with your sewing, like, like sewing um, quilts and stuff like that. I don't intend to sew quilts, but when I sew on buttons, see, I've got that on this machine. That will come back up. I've pulled that back up and the feet haven't came up yet, but because it's, because it's not power powered, that's what is was on. That's that on this one. Now, in the background, I have another sewing machine. This is my other sewing. This is my uh, other sewing machine. I'll show you the difference with this one, with how, what is done with that foot. And you'll see this one has got. It hasn't got two plugs on the back here. It's got one plug on the back that hooks up has the power and the foot hook up to it. Now, see this white plate here? 
when I'm doing uh, buttons, on the foot there is two holes. I've got to put that on there when I put the button foot on. It's because the feed dogs on that do not drop down. I know why the feed dogs haven't got down, came back up because I don't have the power on. The feed dogs don't drop down. I take that foot off, put the this on in there. There's holes there where, where it pushes into. There's one hole there, there, and there are other holes there. There's lugs on that, and that's the difference. There's a lot of difference on this machine, on this other machine. I'll show you what this machine is. It's that. It's that one with the table. When I got this one, it came with the white table, and I like that white table when I'm doing my sewing. This is just the normal bar, bar basic machine. Now, what I'm going to be doing, see how I've got two here, two separate pl plugs here. I'm going to go to the back of this other machine, show you I've got one big plug. That's for the, for the, tra for the foot and for the power, power. That's the difference between the two machines. That's the total difference. It's got a long cord, but that is the total, total, total difference between it. It's got the power and, and all that in one, where this one's got power and the foot different, because you can run this one without the foot if you want to. And now, with this one, with this one, where is it? Um, Now, the other difference between the two machines, this is the bob bobbin pin. That's for the bob bobbin there. You can see that, that's the groove there. You can see it there, where I put in the thread. Just get something, I'll point to it. See where the scissors are? I put the thread in there. I put the bob up and on and it cuts and it fills. Where on the other one, where on the other machine, it doesn't have it. What you've got to do when you fill it, there's a hole on the bo bobbin. You've got to put the thread through, through the hole. And then when it's got some thread onto it, then you cut that off and let that fill. And the other thing, See how the main, that main post is, is pla pl plastic. This one on this machine is a steel post. It is a steel post. But the threading and everything on this machine and this machine are the same. Uh, but this one is the, is the, is the, is the wassail. That's the free arm. There's a free arm on this one as well. Now, I'm going to show you to filling up a bobbin. I'm going to turn the power on and everything, get all this plugged in onto this machine, and I'm, then I'm going to fill up a bobbin and show you what to do on this one. I'm just going to pause for a sec to show you.